All right, I'm just going to do a quick video about the new, our new career cruising program called Zello. And the way that you're going to get students in is they're going to go to their class link and log in. And then at the very end, um, you'll find the the um, icon for Zello. It starts with an X, so it's at the very, very end. Have students click on that. And then once they do that, they will be moved into a screen that looks like this. Um, uh, this Wednesday, we're going to be doing these four um, activities, the matchmaker, the personality style, the mission complete, and the learning style. So I'm just going to walk through it real quick, um, and then I'll show you some of the things um, that you can have students look at. So the first one they're going to do is matchmaker. You're going to have them launch, and then the first question they come into is what um, are their plans for after high school? So not sure, more training or schooling, and an alternate route. Once they start the matchmaker, they're going to have um, this uh, statement here, and then they're, they have this scale of like very much to dislike very much, and they're just going to choose one along this scale. Um, I'm going to go through really quick and do this. They have 39 questions in this matchmaker section, um, so I'm just going to kind of pick a whole bunch of them and show you what kind of what the outcomes are. Okay, so once they go through those 39 questions, it's going to give them a quick snapshot of the careers that they matched with. So my top three were IT support specialist, logistics specialist, and retail buyer. If the, one of those was something that I thought I wanted to do, so let's say retail buyer, um, I can click on it and it's going to give me information about the job. It's going to give similar careers. Um, it's got a couple of videos that you can see. Um, and then the demand the tasks and workplace conditions, um, earnings, and career pathways. So they can get more information on the careers that they chose. If this is something that I really wanted, I can hit the save button and it would then um, save to my, my plan. I don't want to do that because none of those are cool, probably because I didn't take this very seriously. Um, we're going to start the second section, the phase two. So have them start that. Same sliding scale of like very much to dislike and the same um, statements up here. So we're going to just do again. This has 28 questions. Okay, and then once they're done with that, this is going to give them um, personality style. So it looks like builder, helper, persuader were my main um, personality features. If you click on more information, it's going to give you more information about each of those. Um, give some descriptions and then um, what fields they go in. So they can also come down here and say, oh look, I really like Coast Guard, so I will match with that. They can also look at some more careers if that's what they want. Um, so when we're done with that, they're going to hit done. It's going to take them to their um, 40 most popular careers. Um, there is a sliding scale here where they can adjust. So let's say I want to make at least $50,000. Um, I want just a high school diploma. And then I can look at, um, I really like trade school, or, uh, trades and math. And then I can see the careers that I match with. None of those are what I would like to do, but you know, for what we have. And then they can also escape out of it and or X out of it and then go back to their um, list. So I'm going to choose one just to choose one. So let's say I want to be a publisher. I save it and then I can go back. Once they're done with those and have cho chosen a couple of careers or if they don't want to, they can always you can always hit the Zello um, icon up at the top and it's going to take you back to your start button. So we're going to do the mission complete. This is the last section of this sliding scale. There are 49 questions. So I'm going to go through really quick. Okay, and then from there, you're going to get a bigger list of matches. Again, they can play around with the... Um, filters here. 
and can choose um, some more careers, let's say athletic trainer. You might notice that on my matches there are E, so IT support with what I've chosen, E would be an excellent match. Um, the G's are good matches, and then I have fair matches, which are the F's, and I think if I go as far down as I can, there might we might get into some poor matches, which would be P's. Maybe not, but I think if you go far down, you would get P's. Um, if students are not seeing things that they would like to go into, um, they can always hit the um, little spyglass up at the top and type in. So let's say teacher. <clears throat> let's do high school teacher. This was one of mine from before. So you can see um, I'm a fair match for a teacher. Um, if they click into something and they don't realize why, if you can, if you click underneath that find out why, you can see that um, my my choices from the matchmaker and the personality show up and you can see what I have um, chosen. So let's say all of a sudden I look at this and it's like, okay, presenting ideas is not as bad as what I think. So I'm going to change that from dislike to like. And then you can see that it might change persuading people. We'll change that to like too. And then speaking in front of groups will change to like very much. And then, so if I change my dislikes, it will cha also change me to an excellent match. And then I can save it as well. Um, once they're done looking through their um, match matches, then they're going to go and do the learning styles. And I just clicked up at that Zello icon, clicked on the learning styles and start. This has three different options. So you can go through and change and see what kind of <coughs> learning style fits with their um, selections. There are 20. So it looks like when I went through, I was a visual tactile. Um, I, if I hit view results, it's going to give me um, tips for uh, studying. So if you're a visual learner, you can create flashcards. If you're tactile, you might need to um, use walking around or make diagrams or flashcards. So it gives them study tips based on their learning style as well. So once those four are complete, you should see four green check marks. And those are all of the... Um, activities that we're going to be working on this Wednesday. If you have any questions, you can email me or um, give me a call and I can come up and kind of walk you through myself.